Okay, so we have A is acute, B is acute, C is right, D is none. Okay, if it's um, above 180, it's not going to be any of these. Okay, any of these test patients. Seth, mask on. Okay, letter E is going to be, raise your hand. Someone new, someone new. Elizabeth. That is obtuse. That's definitely over 90, okay? Our judge for uh, obtuse or acute is above or, above or uh, under 90, okay? 90 would be about there compared to this, okay? Definitely over that. Um, so letter F, 123 degrees, someone new, someone new, someone that hasn't helped out yet. Okay, Quentin, that would be obtuse, above 90, between 90 and 180, okay? Letter G here, letter G, someone new. Kevin, that is a straight angle, it's 180 degrees, it just looks like a line. And last one, at least letter H. Okay, someone new, someone new, someone new. Someone new. Okay, Presley. It is right. Thanks for volunteering yourself, Presley. Or letting me volunteer you. Okay, any questions on these? Dope. All right, example four. We're going to classify each of the angles, give an angle measure to support your classification. I'm kind of putting in the very top tray, buddy. Okay, so angle ABC. Angle A, B, C, what's our measure there? Can someone raise your hand and tell me what our measure is here, Ray? Uh, it's a straight angle. Uh, I'm going to disagree with you. What? It is not a straight angle. Oh, oh sorry, 70. 70 degrees, right? How do we know it's, or excuse me, how do you know it's 70, by the way? Because it says right there, the little asterisk thing on the line of A, B, C. Yeah, it's marked there, right? That the angle is 70, okay. Um, and so what kind of angle would this be? Acute. Acute, it would be acute, Quentin. Okay, it would be acute. So we're asked to classify the angle. So that's our acute, obtuse, right, straight, none, and give a measure, okay? Letter B, angle C, B, D. Dayton, what are you thinking? 110 degrees, I agree with you. What's your rationale? Because it's on the opposite side of 70. Yeah, it's on the opposite side of 70. These two together make a straight line. So a straight line has to be what measure? 180, okay? So if they together would make a straight line 180 degrees, we can take 180, subtract that 70 from this one, and get 110, giving us that 110 there. That's a really bad arrow. Questions on that? Okay, and that would make this what kind of angle? It would make it obtuse. What was that? A new note packet? Yeah. Did you leave your backpack home today? Ah. Uh. Okay, letter C. Letter C. Angle C, F, G. Angle C, F, G. Raise your hand if you think you can help me out with the angle measure for this one. Kenny, what are you thinking? Is it 90? It is 90. How do you know that? Because the other side is 90. Because the other side is 90, okay? That's very true. The other side of the angle is 90, and what do they both have to add together to be, Kenny? Um, one, yeah, 100. yeah, 180, okay? So they add together to be 180, okay? And if the other side is already 90, these two together make 180 here. We can take 180 minus 90 and get 90 degrees. Okay, so this is 90 degrees, making it what kind of angle? Right. It would be a right angle. That is correct, okay? It's not a left angle, but a right angle. It's it, it's the last one I got, dude. That's my that's my spare copy. You have a stapler. Um, I'll get let you use that for class, okay? Okay. Letter D here. Letter D. Angle C F H C F H. Okay, Ray. Is it 180? That would be 180. Okay, that's just a straight line, isn't it? Okay. I'm sure. So, what kind of angle is this? It's a straight angle. Okay, this angle is straight edge. Straight up, homie. Okay, Ryder, what's up? Great question. So Ryder's asking, okay, so a lot of these we were able to tell kind of looking at them because we were given some measurements. But what happens if we were missing 70 degrees? What do you think is a protractor? What do we do? Okay. Um, on these, you're always going to be given at least some angle in order to find something. You're going to be given enough information to at least find something. 
Um, and then from there, you can go on and continue finding more like the 110 and that kind of stuff. Just like here, you're given 90, so you can find the other one's 90. Because um, otherwise, yeah, you just wouldn't know. So yeah, we're not gonna, I'm not going to make you use the protractor on those, um, but we'll, we'll be given something. Great question. Any other questions on this? Alrighty. So protractor rules, okay? Not to be confused with saying that protractors rule, okay? We're just saying these are rules for using a protractor, okay? So um, you have this protractor, right? It's this tool here. It has a little hole in the middle on most of them. Some of them are different, but it has a little hole at the middle at the bottom. You put the hole over the vertex, and there's normally a couple black lines coming out from the left and the right here, okay? A couple black lines coming out from the left and the right there. Now as those black lines are coming out, you want to line those up on the bottom of your angle, okay? You want to line at least one up on the bottom of your angle, okay? So you want to make sure it's straight on top of it, okay? We'll talk about what that means in a second. Like touching? Yes, like, so like over it. it. So like it's, covering you, you plate down? covering it, okay. yep. Because it's over it, literally. Like so, um, now, um, you always want to kind of estimate what you think it might be. And I'll talk about that in a moment too. Um, once we get into on one of these examples, I think that'll help us out. Um, so let's go ahead and look, look at angle LKH. So angle LKH here is going to be this angle here, okay? LKH, okay, from L to K to H there, okay? If you follow along, L to K to H, okay? So we're talking about that angle there. So we're talking about that angle. Okay, would it be realistic for us to say, okay, well, this comes along right up here. So half between 30 and 40 and halfway between 140 and 150. No. Is it more likely it's 35 or is it more likely it's 145? 35. 35. It's not realistic for us to be 145, right? When it says in rule one, always estimate the angle's measure to determine if your answer makes sense, that's what it's talking about. Does 135 make sense? 145 make sense? <laughs> no, okay? That'd be obtuse, and this is clearly not obtuse, okay? So it's actually just 35 degrees. Okay. So if we look from L to K to H, H over here starts at zero, doesn't it? Right here, it starts at zero. You can see where I'm circling. Okay, it starts at zero. And then you count up, and it goes up to halfway between 30 and 40, exactly 35. Okay, so that's how we would find the measure of that one. Now what kind of measure would that be? A cube. A cube. It'd give you a good looking one. Here you go, buddy. No, I know that. I wrote it the wrong way and then I fixed it and it was wrong again. Ah, big oof. Letter B, H K N. H K N, okay? So for a segment of H K N, uh, angle H K N, we're looking H to K to N. H to K to N. Did everyone see what I did there up on the board? Okay, so what would be the measure of this angle? 180. 180. That's a straight line, isn't it? We can even see that on the protractor, okay? It goes from zero over here to 180. So what kind of angle is that? Straight. It's straight. Okay, what about the measure of angle MKH? Okay, racing 35 degrees, M to K to H. So is 35 degrees realistic for this one? Yeah. Someone's saying no, okay, let's look at this, okay. Ray, M -A, uh, or M K H, M to K to H. So is it realistic for this, everything inside of here to be only 35 degrees? No. No, it'd be an acute angle, but is this acute or obtuse? It's obtuse, okay. So which, so which one of these is more realistic, 35 or 145? 145, half between this 140 and 150. Uh, Kenny said a very good thing here. Do you base upon which side it starts on? Yeah, you totally do. So here, H is down at zero. So we start at the, so we use the outside ones because that's where it's starting at zero. Would you start counting at, um, with your measurement at zero or at 180? Zero. You're going you're gonna to start measuring at zero and go up rather than 180 and go down. Okay, that's not how you measure. Okay, so we're going to zero. We're going to do the outside numbers and we're going to get all the way up to 145. Okay, questions on that one? So that would make this what kind of angle? Obtuse. Obtuse.
All righty. D, L, K, M. Angle L, K, M. Okay, Kevin. 145. Okay, 145. I'm actually going to slightly disagree here, though, because... Is it around Not quite. Although it does go through 145 on the M part, doesn't it? Yeah. It goes through 145. Where does it go through on the L, K part, though? 35. 35. Okay, so this over here is 35. This is over here is 145. We're going to have to find the difference between the two. How much is in the middle is going to be the difference between the two. So take 145 minus 135 and we get 110. So this angle measure is 110. Okay? And that angle measure is 110. And if you look at that, does that angle between those two look more like 110 or 145? It looks more like 110. It looks a little bit closer to 90 than 145 is, okay? So what kind of angle would that make it? Obtuse. Obtuse. Questions on that one of why we subtracted those? Okay, that's what is one of our protractor rules. That's actually our third rule, okay? Um, the measure of an angle is the difference of the two um, measures given on the protractor. But it always has to be positive, okay? So if we had done 35 minus 145, we get negative 110, and so we would do the positive of that. I want you to find the last one angle LKJ on your own. Here, good luck. Hmm. Okay, I want you guys to find angle LKJ, letter E, on your own. So on letter E, angle LKJ, LKJ, so we're talking L to K to J. So that's between 35 and 90, so what do we have to do with those two numbers? Subtract, and what do you get? 55 degrees, and what's the measure of that? Or what's, what kind of classification is that? A cube. Can we do that for everyone that says 180? The subtracting? Yep, yeah, you can always subtract. And so Ryder was asking me a good question earlier I want to highlight here. He's like, so I get why we subtract on these two, but why didn't we subtract on our first three? And that's a really good question. Let me talk about why we didn't subtract on our first three and whether or not you can subtract on the first three. So if we look at, um, for example, let's look at um, letter C, angle MKH again, the one I did in purple. This is at zero, and this is at 145. So I can do 145 minus zero, but what am I gonna get? 145. 145, so do I need to subtract? No. no, but does subtracting make a difference? No, okay, so it could work either way. So that's why we didn't subtract, right, Tony? Yeah. All right, okay, headphone out, please. Thank you. Okay, any questions on this besides what's been asked? All right, find the measures of the given angles using a protractor, okay, let's talk about how to do this one. Ms. Hazel, would you be so kind as to pass out these protractors? Our protractor, Mrs. Haswell is up being awesome, passing about right now. I have my own protractor up here, the mega protractor, okay? Um, so, with my mega protractor, mine's a little bit different. Instead of having a hole in the middle, I have a little notch there, okay? So, I'm gonna put the notch and I'm gonna line it up on the line here. So, I'm gonna put the notch exactly on the vertex, on the point okay, where those two rays meet, and I'm gonna line this up along the bottom there, okay? So, for you, you'd have a, a point. And you have some crosshairs probably on yours, okay? And so you're going to line up the crosshairs on that and the point on the vertex. Okay? And so you want, what you want is you want this bottom ray to come out and hit the zero. You want the bottom ray to come out and hit the zero on your protractor. And then you would go and say, okay, where does this end up measuring on the other one? and you'll find your measure, just kind of like we did on our protractor that was already printed on the paper. 
This time, you just have to move it around to adjust the angle. So you always need it to be flat compared to one of the sides of the angle, okay? Now, when you get to letter C, or not when you get to letter C, but when you get to a couple of them on the assignment today, heads up, okay? You might have to extend them out a bit. So how that works is you would use it as a straight edge. Okay, what, see, what I mean by extend it, let me say that again, okay? Let's say I have this angle. If I were to measure it here, can I see exactly where that ends up hitting, or am I just kind of getting close? You're getting I'm, getting getting close. close. I'm getting close, okay? So what I would have to do is I'd have to extend it, okay? What I mean by extend it is we don't want to just freehand draw it out, because that leaving a lot of room for human error. What if I don't draw a perfectly straight line? Okay, that's going to mess it up. What you do is you use a straight edge. So you can use your protractor as a straight edge because the edge of the protractor is straight, okay? It's a nice line. And so you can use that and keep drawing your line, extending it. Then if I go through and extend it, then it would be fine. Does that make sense? Okay, we don't need to do that on these right now, I don't think, okay? Let's go ahead and find the measures of A, B, and C. A, B, and C, okay? And Mrs. Haswell and I are gonna come around and check you, okay? And as long as you're within two degrees of what we have, it's okay. So go ahead and find the measure with the protractor, okay? And then um, classify me. If you need help, raise your hand, or if, once you have them, raise your hand. So I said as long as you're within two degrees of what I have, it's okay. Maybe it's human error happens a lot on this kind of stuff, okay? Especially when they're so small, all like sprinted, okay? It can be um, very easy to have human error between one another, okay? Um, so what does someone have for letter A? Okay, Kevin, 32. 32 degrees. That's what I had is 32 degrees. So as long as you had 30, 31, 32, 33, or 34, you'd be correct. And what kind of angle is that? Acute. Acute. Now, um, you don't actually have to put little, this little angle thing in here, that little arc in there to say the measure. Those arcs actually mean that two angles are congruent. So if you have two arc, an arc on an angle, so if I draw another angle here real quick, and I put a little arc in there, since they both have one arc, I'm saying that those two angles are congruent to each other, just a heads up, okay? Okay, but on the 90, you always have that box. Okay, yep, the 90 is a unique one. Okay. Um, the 180, you don't actually have to draw, it's, it just looks like a straight line. Yeah, great question. Letter B, what does someone have for that? Okay, Elizabeth. It is 90 degrees exactly, okay? So that would make it a right angle. Now, if you put 89 degrees, I still count that correct, but could you still call it right if it's 89 degrees? No, you'd have to call it what? Acute, okay? Same thing, 91, you'd have to call it obtuse, okay? So I'd still count those right, but you'd have to have your classification correct based upon what you put. Does that make sense? Okay. Can you go on? Letter C. Okay, Quentin? Yeah, 141. So I had 142. 141 would definitely work then, right? 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, okay? Would work, and we call this one obtuse. Questions on that? All righty. Okay, we are almost done with these notes here. This is a long section just lengthwise, but each part is pretty quick, right? That part wouldn't take too long, okay? So let's look at this angle addition. So you guys remember segment addition, right? how we can add two segments together and you get a bigger segment. Same idea with angles. We can add, this is our same part plus part equals the whole again. If I take angle ABD, this part, okay? Angle ABD, this part over here, and I add that with angle BDC, BDC we're gonna get the whole big angle ADC, won't we? Okay, is everyone know, tracking with me when I use those three letters, okay? When I use those three letters, A, D, B, we're saying we're starting at A, going toward D, and then from D to B. So when I say A, D, B, that's the path we're going on. When I say angle B, D, C, we're starting with B, going toward D, and then continuing toward C and ending there. Okay, so that, does everyone track me with when I use those three letters? It's very important that we know that. And that would make up the whole big angle, A, D, C. And let me clean up that mess. Okay. So, can someone help me set up an equation, maybe? That way we can even solve for x, and we can find other angle measures if we liked. Okay, Elizabeth? Um, 2x plus 10 equals 4x minus 
Exactly right. Not, oh, excuse me, not exactly right. I'm sorry. Let me let me go back and do that. 2x plus 10 not equals 4x minus 3. Do we know these are congruent? Plus. Plus. We're going to add them, though, okay? We're doing angle addition. Great guess, though, Elizabeth. I love that you're trying. That's. I, I want everyone to try. Whether or not you get them right, okay? Seth, plus what? 4x minus And that equals what? 145. Because we're told ADC, angle ADC, is 145. You add the two parts to get the whole piece of you add the two parts to get the whole. Questions on the setup. Is this pretty similar to our sigma addition from earlier? Yeah. I think so, just we're doing angles now. Really Can we? Like no. Like we, did this we did these kind of equations in algebra one. Yeah. Is that, is that what you're asking? Okay. Yep. So in your previous math class, yeah, you did do equations like this. So what happens a lot of times, Dayton, please don't, is you use the geometry to set up the equation. And then you use your algebra to solve it. Okay, we already did algebra, okay? Geometry to set it up, algebra to solve it. So what would we do to solve this one? Okay, Ray? Combine like terms. What are some like terms we can combine here, Tyler? 2x and 4x. And they make? 6x. 6x, okay, what's another set of like terms we can combine here? Thank you. Um, Presley, what's some other like terms we can combine here? 10, negative 3. Those combine to be? 7. seven. This is where my favorite Presley day. Okay? So, 6x plus 7 equals 145. Okay? Now what would we do? Uh, Ryan, what would you do? Did you catch what happened with the 10? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Subtract the 7. From both sides, 6x is equal to 138. Okay? Now what? Divide by... Six, not six x, just the six. We want the x. Do we know how many times uh, six was in 138 off the top of our head? 23. It is 23, but what happens if you don't know that? Yeah. Okay, you can do it in a calculator, you can do it off to the side, okay, all sorts of stuff, right? Now, x is 23. Could we go back and find the measure of angle ADB now? Yeah. 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 How? Plug it in. Plug it in. Can we find the measure of angle BDC now? Yeah. How? Plug it in. Plug it in. Awesome. Let's plug it into angle ADB, okay? So instead of 2x plus 10, it's 2 times 23 mm -hmm. plus 10. What is 2 times 23? 46. 46. Does that mean if LeBron was twice as good, he'd be number 46? Okay. And so it ends up being 56 total. So our measure of angle ADB is 56 degrees. We go through, find the measure of angle BDC. We'd have 4 times x. So 4 times 23 minus 3. That would be 92. Very good, Dayton. 92 minus 3 is? 89. 89 degrees. Now, what do we notice about these two? Are they the same? Nope. No, but what do they do? They add up to 145, and they should add up to 145, right? Yeah. Is that a way we can kind of double check or work that they add up to the big angle like they're supposed to? Yeah. Totally. Okay, Kevin. Um, so we have to write it down. On the test, yep, I want you to write it like this. You have to measure M. M for measure, angle. What if we just put the BDC? Um, I want you to put the measure of angle. I, I would count off some points for labels, yep. yep. In geometry, that the labeling is very, very important. Okay. Dane can probably confirm that. But, all right, any other questions on this slide? All righty, let's flip the page. This is actually going to be our last example for the day. We're going to skip the next one following it, okay? Does that sound good? You guys okay with that? Okay. Press is like, yeah, I guess. Like Mr. Castle, I was really hoping to do that though. Not really. Not really? Oh, okay. So, given that the angle is a straight angle, find the value of x. It's all caps, so I figured I'd be loud with it. Okay. Can somebody help me of how to set this one up? We have to extend it. Okay. Mm, we don't have to extend it. You're saying so we can make it a, use of the protractor? Yeah. Okay, so we actually don't even need a protractor on this one. That's a great idea. If we need the protractor, we would have to extend it. We don't need a protractor, okay? Ray, what do you think, buddy? Uh, everything, or, uh, do 3x plus 2x plus 1, and then combine 2x and 3x, and then... Okay, but what's it all equaling? 180. 1, why 180? Because that's what the whole one is. Because it's a straight angle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, straight angle means it's 180. So if we add the two parts, it has to equal the straight angle, a.k.a. 180. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then do we know how to solve this? Ray was starting to even tell us a bit, okay? 
So, Ryder, what would you do first in solving this? Combine like terms, and what are some like terms? And what do those combine to be? Nailed it. 5x plus 20 equals 180. Lauren, what would you do now when you have 5x plus 20 equals 180? Subtract 20. Subtract 20. From just one side? From both sides, right? Yeah. So 5x equals what's 180 minus 20? 160. 160. Thanks, Seth. Okay. So now what would we do here, Bailey? You have 5x equal to 160. How do you get x by itself? Divide by 5 on both sides. x is 32. Do you already have that? You can totally do that math on the side. Use a calculator, either one. Okay. x is 32. Does that mean x is... Uh, does that mean an angle is 32 degrees? No. No, x is 32. We could plug it in and find it, right? Yep. Okay. Now, what were we asked to do? What are we? Find the value of x. So are we done? Yeah. Yeah. Could we continue on to check our work? Yes, we sure. We could, but Ray doesn't want to because he's lazy right now. Yeah. 